hey you are welcome to rabbit palace and more where we talk of livestock especially rabbits our discussions are mainly focused on rabbitry and how to um, successfully breed rabbits and how to um, grow your rabbit farm and how to make it a success especially if your target is um, commercial rabbitry today we are looking at um, design of uh, rabbit cages and construction of rabbit cages and repairs of rabbit cages it is very necessary because that is where the rabbits are going to live throughout um, your breeding period or throughout your rabbit production period so it's very necessary when it comes to like the design and construction of um, your rabbit cages as you can see this cage um uh, is, is is under repairs and you are seeing um they are using a particular machine and then they were the rabbits were a bit scared they, they were a bit scared so we we took a uh, uh, majority of the rabbits out to different cages but we were not having enough cages to put the red the rest of the rabbits so we had to um, uh, uh, um, allow some there while the work was going on so one thing i want you to understand is that in construction of rabbit cages your the dimensions to use is very necessary um the the length of the rabbit cage um, should be two feet and then the width of the rabbit cage should also be two feet and the height of the rabbit cage should also be two feet so that um, it it will bring some co a kind of convenience to the rabbit because if it want to lie and stretch itself um, uh, across um, the land it should be able to do so if it is lying in the wood side it should also be able to stretch itself and you know rabbits like to stand up with their uh, uh, back feet and with their uh, uh, front feet and stretching their, their, themselves so if they want to stand up like that they should be able to um, stand up and then express themselves and release um, some tensions so that they can be uh, relaxed and you know when they are relaxed um, the process is even much more easier a rabbit that is not um, relaxed or convenient um, you don't expect to um, achieve results especially when you cross them or you breed them so this is the dimension to use but remember that if the um the the cages you are constructing it for the purpose of um rabbit hatches where your females will be and then you want them to later there where the females would give birth your dose they would deliver inside and raise their their their, their case or bunnies so um that one should be different from this one i have just said if it is a back cage two feet by two feet is um is very much okay but if it is a rabbit hatch that means you should um use like 2.5 feet for the length and 2.5 feet for the um, width and you can still maintain the height uh, 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 as two feet so that the, the space will be enough because uh, the average uh, uh, litter per rabbit is um uh, let's say four to five bunnies so at least the four to five plus the mother inclusive that should be around around six but in case it, it later around nine ten so you see that the, the cage should be able to um uh, 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 contain both the the case and then the, the mother the bunnies and then the doe so that they will all be able to live there um happily and then healthy healthy wise because if the k2 is um uh, uh, is congested uh, that that will also mean that the urine and then the poop it is going to be something else you are actually going to be uh, uh, housing some bacterias and stuff if you are also using the rab uh, uh, the wooden cage just like you are seeing this is a repairs going on in a rabbit palace um, the wooden cage you have to take very much note of some things because the wooden cage is not is dif far different from the metallic cage you see that uh, the wood sometimes it absorbs the urine and if there is a, a, a wood under or beneath it where the urine is being absorbed before you realize that place will be changing it will be turning to a color like dark brownish or something like that 
and before you realize maggot and things will start um, breathing uh, uh, under it and it is not good for your rabbits before you realize you see that some of them will stop eating some of them will uh, 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 start growing lean without no cause at all and before you realize you start losing them so we were uh, i asked um uh, uh, this uh, carpenter to come and then work on it so that the, some of the wools that are beneath it that are absorbing the urine they can be taken out so you ensure that when they 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 they, they, they pass urine it all falls down to where your 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 your, col your collection uh, 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 how will I even call it? Your collection three, so that you they can be taken out. And when they poop to, when they poop to, then it should be able, the droppings should be able to pass through, and then the net or the the, the wire mesh, so that your uh, uh, your bin or your waste collector will be able to take it, so that it doesn't stay on the cage to produce uh, uh, what do they call it uh, bacteria. So it's very very necessary. Is very necessary so um, if you are interested in rabbitry you should also be interested in their comfort or convenience remember they are also living things so if you are into any kind of livestock at all not just rabbitry alone you have to ensure that where they stay it matters take very good care of them as they are also living things so that um, God as well will also be proud of you even as you are looking for whatever whether it is for domestic purposes it is for commercial purposes or your target whichever you whatever your target is but ensure that they are taking very good care of so that um, and that's why I always advise that don't go into a particular livestock if um, it is not your interest area you should have passion for them because they are not like crops or they are not like any other non living thing or any kind of business you are venturing into but these are things that have life in them and you should take care of them just like you will take care of your own children so ensure that what they eat you give them the correct feet ensure that where they sleep you is, is well maintained and it is well clean as you can see these cages and when you notice that there's urine or anything choking anywhere that is breeding other bacteria or other living things that will uh, um, affect the health of your rabbits or whichever uh, livestock you are into you ensure that that is taken care of thank you thank you for watching and do well to subscribe if you have not subscribed and turn on your notification bell bye bye